Hello everyone, welcome back for another pickups video. We've been looking at the stuff from thrift stores, etc. for the store lately, but now let's take a look at the couple of things we picked up over the past month or so for our own collections. First off, we have a very recent Warner Archive release, a Silent Classics double feature. This is really, really cool. I love when Warner Archive digs into the 20s and 30s in particular. Those are the two decades I'm really interested in with a lot of Warner Archive stuff. So a double feature, that's really great of two silent features from the 20s. From 1926, we have The Boob. And from 1929, with Colleen Moore, we have Why Be Good. Uh, the Boob is kind of an extra for me on this one. Why Be Good is the main reason why I wanted this. The Boob it's a charming little comedy. It's only about an hour. It's very much a movie that's good for a few chuckles, not really a, a laugh out loud. Uh, it has a short appearance by Joan Crawford. She's not really one of the main people, even though you know, being a well-known actress, she's one of the main draws now to go back and watch it. But it's just a fun, silly little comedy. It's enjoyable for what it is, but not anything spectacular. Uh, Why Be Good, I really enjoy. It's one of the few Colleen Moore movies that I've seen. I've not seen a lot of hers, but I like her in this movie in particular. Charming, young, flapper. Feels somewhat typical, but there's a great charm in the performances that make it stand out, even though the storyline is very familiar. There are a lot of really great comedic scenes, and it just has this very charming, fun, romantic appeal. The story of a young woman growing up in the 20s, dealing with work and romance and the changing attitudes of the time that young women were facing, particularly with the expectations and demands on them by men. You know, society at large, but this one really specifically more deals with the realm of expectations that men have, both in the dating scene and dealing with her father. and. It uh, just comes across as just a fun, charming little comedy that I find very enjoyable and a great peek into another time. It's one thing that I like about certain forms of media, movies, TV. There's, there's certain things that I like when they feel like a little window into a different time, into a different mindset. And it's just a, a charming movie that I will definitely watch again and again. And then The Boob is just kind of like a little extra about a young country boy who falls in love with a local girl who is charmed by you know, the typical kind of city slicker, bootlegger guy, and then the ensuing comedic elements as he kind of chases her down, and some little side characters that are fun for, again, a good chuckle, like the one alcoholic character and his little buddy and his dog, but just kind of a, a silly little movie. Uh, then digging into a couple TV releases that we got recently, that both kind of in the same veins, I'll bring them both up here, are again, little windows into a different time is what I enjoy. You know, it's coming on to election season, so I might as well catch up. Uh, a little out of date though. Indecision 2004, The Daily Show. This was a time frame where I was watching The Daily Show pretty much nightly, very early 2000s. I'd say roughly like 2002, 2003, to maybe 2009 or 10-ish. That was the time frame where I really watched The Daily Show all the time. I enjoyed it with Jon Stewart and a lot of the you know, older you know, cast that was as part of it. And this was a time frame, you know, an election and things that I really vividly remember. So it's interesting having an actual DVD release is the kind of show that you really wouldn't have typically like a lot of DVD releases. Like you're not getting. You know, buying a box set of your local you know, news station broadcasts or a TV broadcast or anything like that. But this is interesting, and it doesn't have any real... The one thing that would be nice is having actual, just normal, like, random episodes of The Daily Show. That would be a cool window into time. But at least with this set, you get in conventions and the lead-up to the election and everything, and a lot of different stuff that just very vividly I remember from that era. So it's a cool trip down memory lane. And this is a, a good thrift store find because this is the kind of thing that I've actually wanted to check out for a long time, but I wasn't really willing to spend, you know, 10 bucks to get it online. Finding a thrift store really cheap, and eventually I finally did. After years of looking, nice three-disc set. And then part of the TV Guide Spotlight Collection. I have a few of these. 
Uh, my favorite is the Christmas one, and I was able to finally grab the Spooky Halloween Episodes one. And again, I love these. Eventually I'll do a video looking at these TV Guide Spotlight releases, because they're a great little window into different times and getting a variety of shows that maybe you don't want big complete series or even full season collections, just kind of episodes that reminds me almost of how a night of TV would look back in the day. Get these, you know, one episode a piece, a piece of a bunch of different shows, some new stuff, you know, current in the 90s and reruns of old things. So this one is the Halloween themed collection and has one episode each of Bewitched, The Jeffersons, which is a, a two-parter, so it's, and then we have The Facts of Life, Roseanne, News Radio, Third Rock from the Sun, That 70s Show, Our Dream of Jeannie, Square Pegs, Married with Children, The Cosby Show, Mad About You, and the short-lived and honestly pretty terrible Ned and Stacy. Uh, and that's always kind of the curiosity with these two. There's always a bunch of oh, favorite nostalgic shows like Bewitched or That 70s Show, Our Dream of Jeannie, you know, ones that I really, really love, and other ones that I remember from that time, but not really ones that I would ever buy full sets of, stuff like The Facts of Life, or The Jeffersons, or, you know, Married of Children, and it's fun to go back and view those, and there's always, like, one or two just, ah, oh, yeah, I forgot that show existed, and then you watch it, and it's like, I remember why I forgot that show existed, but it's a cool little, again, window into a different time, so I love these collections. I wish there were more of them, there really aren't very many, but the ones that are out there, I think, are a lot of fun. Cool little themed collection. So that's a look at the ones that have been added to our personal collection over the past month or so. And as always, I'd love to see what you've added to your own movie and TV or video game or book collections recently. I'll be sure to check it out if you leave a link in the comments below.